gimbal sounds like a great idea. Actually, look, rock steady. It's the best thing ever. It solves every problem in any videography. Videography, listen. And the new DJI Osmo Pocket 3. This is even better with its own wireless mic as well. This should be the best vlogging camera, isn't it? Forget, forget actual camera camera. I can just ditch my uh, Panasonic S5 Mark II and just use this, right? Actually, I think it's up to debate. Um, personally, I'm really not a huge fan of using gimbal shot in for vlogging. And do you really need a gimbal for steady video footage? In fact, I am actually shooting this with my 3 years old iPhone 12 mini. Oh, it's recognizing people at the back. Hang on. Yeah, such a smooth video shooting. <laughs> and this is a 3 years old iPhone. The later iPhone 14, 15 would be even better than this. But let's go back to look at the Osmo Pocket 3. It's still a really good camera. I'm going to compare to my iPhone and GoPro. All right, I said I personally don't really um, keen on using gimbal for vlogging, but it is, this is actually really a good video camera, especially I'm using the wireless mic that comes with it. Uh, if you get the more expensive, whatever combo is, the short suit, suit more combo, whatever it's called. And uh, I'm using a selfie mode and it actually tracks my face. I mean, if I, if I, if I keep the camera at one place and not only move my face, it track my face as well. But then it do lock my face in the center. So if I want to show the church, I can't <laughs> don't stop moving. So uh, personally, I actually prefer to just pan it myself. I mean, when it's facing towards you, I mean, I don't, I don't think you really need a face tracking. You already pointing it to you and you got a screen to look at yourself why do you need it to track it for you i also don't like face tracking trying too hard to keep your face in the center without in a lot of unnecessary movements when you turn it off it actually do the job of stabilize your footage better the thing is is by default when you switch it to selfie mode face tracking turns on automatically you have to go into setting to turn it off i would prefer it like this yeah, back to the screen. The screen is great, much larger than before because the original Osmo Pocket have the screen, the size of a stem, because it is restrict to the body width. But this one, other than the body, is a little bit bigger, and of course you now rotate the screen. So now the screen is not restricted to the width of the camera body. Actually, the Pocket Three, this. Osmo Pocket 3 has the biggest difference than the other Osmo Pocket and the Osmo Pocket 2 because this has the largest screen, largest body, and it got one inch sensor in there. If it were the same size as those RX100, those cats on the RX100. So you should get much better dynamic range and no lights. So I've compared to several other devices and the results are pretty interesting. With Pocket 3, if I want my face to have correct exposure, I have to overexpose the sky a little bit, but it still retains some details. The latest GoPro 12, it still have a much smaller sensor, so it makes sense that the sky overblown quite a lot. With an iPhone, well, it's always cheating with software anyway. It retains a lot of details, but I always think it looks really fake. With my really old iPhone anyway, Interestingly, with my RX100 Mark VI, yeah, I know it's a bit old, but it still has a 1-inch sensor. If I expose my face correctly, the sky almost solid right. So yeah, although I don't have a newer RX100 to compare, the Pocket 3 with this 1-inch sensor is really pretty good in dynamic range. I think the best feature of this is actually the mic, DJI Mic 2. Why nobody thought of this before? This is brilliant. You can see that it shows you that it is now connected and using this as the audio source. So audio source. And this you can just keep it to yourself. Or like I before, I plug my lav mic into this. 
fluffy deck caps here. I think it's quite clever. It got a dummy plug here, so you just plug it to the my 3.5 millimeters plug. It's just you can just clip it. I I usually I clip it like this, so you don't see it too much. Actually, it's also got a um, built-in noise cancellation. <laughs> the problem is some of these are that you have to remember which button to press. It doesn't have a noise cancelling button. You have to remember. I think it's. I think I press the power button for once. Oh yeah, and then it changed to yellow. Obviously, yellow means noise cancellation. Why can't they put another light and clearly label it noise cancellation? But yeah, it got noise cancellation, filter out some frequency, which I don't think for my so close to your mouth, I don't think you really need noise cancellation. And if you really, really worry about uh, clean audio, you won't use any built-in noise cancellation. You use another mic to record the environment and then do the noise cancellation later in your computer. So yeah, forget noise cancellation, you don't need that. Just keep it close to your mouth and you're good. Or just use a laugh mic, don't be like so. <laughs> oh yeah, it do internal recording as well. And it's a possibility to flow recording as a backup recording. I have demonstrated why it is great in another video. Roll wireless, roll uh, wireless pro? <laughs> yeah, roll wireless pro. I think, shit, roll, roll wireless go. Uh, no, go, <laughs> roll wireless pro. Yes, you can check it out right there. Now I've been sitting for not very long actually just a little bit of um, test shot and here and there now the battery life is about oh, which way this way 56 percent so it's not really that much not a really big battery inside actually did you i claim that you can shoot for up to uh 166 minutes yes 4k 60 and i guess that is continuously shooting not start and stop, start and stop, like you usually would do, like I did. But fortunately, you can buy the battery grip. No, it's not a DSLR battery grip. This one is, uh, you can check, oh, that's battery. And then you can plug it down there. It actually has another, I should prepare that. Yeah, actually, any pocket, uh, pocket free comes with this. This is, um, is it called handle grip thing that make it a little bit easier to grip make it a little bit longer and also it gives you tripod thread because at the back uh, not not at the back at the bottom it is a USB-C plug so you don't have tripod thread at the bottom I don't know why you can't have both it actually act as a quick release if you put it on a little tripod or whatever same as the battery grip thing so when you sit down for a drink between your shots, you can plug this in and it will charge the battery. Or, obviously, you can... Oh, it shows you both battery, the battery life of both. It doesn't only just charge it, you can use it while attached. See, it's charging and shooting. But if you didn't buy the extended whatever combo, then you can just use any power deliver DC compatible USB-C power bank. I like that it supports DPD because it can charge this up to 80% in just 16 minutes. And if you have a coffee, sit down for half an hour, it will be full. That's good. I mean, a lot of cameras like this S5 Mark II, it supports PD, but it doesn't really charge that fast at all. But also, any devices with internal battery, I will say this in the video, is that the internal battery will die one day. Then you have a perfectly working camera with a dead battery. You can send it back to DJI to replace it, I guess. Actually, that's another thing. It's really nice that when you turn it off, it turns the gimbal into a position that you can put it away. 
it kind of locked it, but I mean the the lock isn't that strong. When I when I need to put it in my pocket, I you know, turn it off and I want to put just stuff it in my pocket. I always feel a little bit um, would I damage it? Of course, it comes with a hard case, but it means that every time you have to you know, oh you should a little bit of the Christmas market and then you want to put it back, you have to put it back into the hard case before you put it back into your pocket, which is a, just not as easy as a camera or GoPro. Although it has the wireless mic, I think I should compare the built-in mic of all three of them. The Osmo Pocket 3 compared to the GoPro Trial, the latest one, and the iPhone 12 mini, not the latest one, actually three years old. GoPro, uh, usually uh, it's alright, actually famously bad, because GoPro, usually where do you use your GoPro on the, on the speedboat or whatever, you don't need the audio at all. I think usually the iPhone my built-in my just surprisingly good, it's weird. It's really good. <laughs> DJI probably similar to iPhone. I guess I'm guessing now I haven't actually tried it. So yeah. Now other than I said I don't really keen on gimbal shot or in vlogging. The thing about Osmo Pocket is that they try to make it try to make you believe that it is so easy to use. Is everyone should have one. The thing is, so many first-time users find out it still can't stabilize while you're walking the up-down movement. Especially because the other movements are all stabilized, I think this up-down movement is actually more distracting. And sometimes gimbal can give you some unnatural movement. For example, like here, the gimbal couldn't keep up my left panning, but then it suddenly gives a really sudden pan. Instead, GoPro in this situation gives um, better results. When you're shooting selfie, because the camera is so stable, it looks like it is me jumping around in the frame. But then on my phone, it actually looks more natural. If this 3 years old iPhone gives you footage that is so stable, do you really need to spend hundreds of dollars for gimbal? But then in no lights, because smartphones use digital stabilization, this kind of motion blur, it just can't cancel motion blur. Same as GoPro, same as any camera that uses digital stabilization. But a gimbal actually eliminates any motion, so there's no motion blur. Of course, a camera camera with optical stabilization, you won't see this motion blur problem. Has the best image quality and especially in low light. For me, I don't really want my vlog to be perfectly stable like my camera is floating in air. I like this kind of natural movement. What I want to say is that gimbals aren't as easy to use as DJI want you to believe. But of course, for situations that call for gimbal, you can't replace a gimbal with anything else. I mean, if you decide that you want a gimbal camera, this is as good as it gets. It got um, one inch sensor, and the wireless mic, the DJI Mic 2. It's just a brilliant idea that have the wireless mic receiver inside your camera. I mean, if I only start to make video today, I probably start with my phone, and then later I would move on to an actual camera camera as a gimbal go, as a camera gimbal competition go. This is the best and the only one, to be honest.